Taurus, you're really, really, really going to have to value who you are, what you're made of, and how you operate, okay? You are a very scarce commodity, okay? You are a sacred commodity. And when I say scarce, I mean that. Like, it's hard to find a you. It's hard to replace a Taurus, okay? If anybody thought they could replace you, they found out the hard way, right? I need you to take a look at these images, this beautiful woman, this throne. This is how you are seen in the spirit realm. If you were to understand your ranking in the spirit realm, this is what it would look like. If you were to go to sleep and wake up as your real self, you would wake up looking like this and you would go sit on that type of throne. You would live in that type of palace. So you need to understand that. You need to get your earth brain to understand that while you are operating in this physical realm. You're the same person. You may look different, but your spirit is this royalty. You're rare. You're sacred. Not everybody should be able to access you. And if people don't understand or see this about you, then you cannot accept treatment less than this royal, this royal queen would accept. There are certain things that she just cannot accept. You can't play with me in my face. You can't talk about me behind my back like a dog and then come be all laughing and smiling with me. You can't hug me and then stab me in the back and then come right on back into my palace. It doesn't work like that. So I feel like when you start to see yourself like this, your whole life is about to transform. Okay. But let's talk about you being sacred. Okay. You being sacred and it's scarce. It's not a lot of yous out there. Let's see what we got right now. First card up. Oh, the six of cups. So the six of cups to me is speaking about like women of the past. You're, you're the last of a dying breed. There is a dying breed of a certain type of woman, a certain type of queen. And you have like traditional values You have, of like morality, like your morals, your values, your standards, you know, that's rare what it is that you bring. Your energy is rare. The way that you care is rare. Your resources is rare. You know, how you operate, how you do things, how you manifest, all of that is very rare. And this six of cups is talking about creating memories or memories of you. Okay. I'm going to clarify what right away. What are we talking about when we're talking about the past and the Taurus? Oh, the Hierophant. Again, like I was saying, traditional values. Maybe some of y'all are religious and you hold religious values uh, very tightly, right? Maybe some of you guys are spiritual. Like you're the type, you'll pray for your partner. You'll pray uh, over things, right? You have a, a spiritual core and you know how to do things uh, in a spiritually moral way. Your character Okay, all of these things. And it's even transcending like religion. You may be religious, but it's it like it transcends that. Let's see what's going on behind the scenes. Something that Taurus is not aware of. Okay, behind the scenes, spirit realm or anything. Oh, Knight of Coins. Somebody has been watching you, studying you for a long time. Somebody has been thinking about saying something to you for a long time. Someone has even been trying to... They've been watching you from afar, seeing where you are, maybe even pocket watching, watching your social media, trying to see what it is that you have to see if they can measure up or match you. So this Knight of Coins is somebody who had their eye on you. They're trying to see if they can, if they can move, slide your throne over just a little bit so they can put a throne. But with him being a knight, it seems as though this person has like potential as opposed to what they're doing right now. And potential can be a little dangerous because it's like you may or may not become that. You're talking a good game, but what if it don't happen? You know, meanwhile, you're already in position. But let me talk about a knight of coins. What Taurus doesn't know going on behind the scenes. You got this person. I want to clarify what this person with this knight of coins is doing or saying. The sun card. Wow, you are my sunshine. All right, Taurus. Well, you are somebody's sunshine. Somebody feels like at the end of the road, like you are the light at the end of the tunnel or you are the you are the pathway. 
You are the path that they want to take. Riding down this street together towards the sun is riding towards you. So you, you make somebody very happy. You make somebody want to change. You make somebody want to grow. You make somebody want to excel. You make somebody even want to gain providership energy so they can take care of you. This person may be a knight, but again, they have potential. They have long-term plans and they're hoping to one day get there. I don't know if they're necessarily there yet, but they, this is why they're behind the scenes. Now, also, this can be you make somebody happy and it doesn't have to be a romantic thing. They just haven't said it to you. So what you need to know is behind the scenes, you being in position, you being this royal cosmic goddess is really helping someone to transform. All right. Let's see what's working for you. What's on a high vibrational end? The king of swords. So this energy right here is letting me know that there's somebody who matches you in terms of what you can do right now. Cause you see you in this queen position. So what's working for you is there are some eligible Kings and you are wanted by many. You are wanted by the Knights who are working their way up to get to you. Like I work extra hard. I work three jobs. I don't care what I got to do to take care of her or to get her. I will get her and secure her. And that's the potential type dude. But then there's some who are ready right now. Like I can, I don't need you to slide your throne over. I got my own castle and I got my own throne. Keep your throne, baby. Matter of fact, I like that baby blue on you. Look at me with my purple. Like we match, you know, like somebody who's already in position. All right. So you got options. I think I say this for y'all every reading, like you got options, but let me clarify this King of Swords. Why is this King of Swords here? Why? What, what's, what's so good about him? Ooh, the devil. My God, you know what I was just saying? You're scary. You're, you're, you're rare. Like it's hard to find a you. And I just said you the type who will pray over your partner. Tell me why this person will do the same thing. This person got some very high spiritual rank. They will pray the devil off of you. They will pray the demons off of you. This the type that will run up to the devil. Like what's good, bruh? You know what I'm saying? This person is really that person. King, real king, authority, true, authentic person. Ain't got a lot of scheme, scam, none of that. Protector, provider. They out there. They out there. Wow. And available for you. Why? Because just as rare as you are, just as just as scarce as finding you is, that's the same thing with this person. Because again, it's not just the physical, what we can do for each other, the money, the clean and cooking, all that. It's can you protect me in the spirit realm when these demons is trying to eat me? Can you pray for me when the devil want to knock this crown off my head? That's what we asking for. And this one got it. Let's see what's in a low vibrational end, what, what you need to work on. Mm, the hermit card. So some of y'all are either in isolation and you need to come out. Or this is what you have been called to, to learn to see yourself through God's eyes. Okay. So let's talk about it the first way. If you are in hermit mode, like you need to come outside. The sun is shining. It's getting warm out. Spring is here. It's like you need to go outside. You need to be seen. Your voice needs to be heard. This blue, uh, that's throat chakra energy. You need to speak up. Stop hiding. Okay. And then on the flip side, if you've been outside, the thing is you need to go into hermit mode. You need to be quiet. You need to go meditate. You need to get these visions that God has given you about who you really are in the spirit realm. And you can't do that when you're around the people who are feeding you a bunch of crap. You can't do that. People where we from ain't like that. We ain't got this. We ain't got that. Nah, get away from them. All right. Now, let's go ahead and let's see the next seven days for Taurus. Ooh, the eight of coins. Now, I got this, I believe, in the collective or either for Capricorn, right? But this eight of coins is you're causing a discussion. When you go from rock bottom to royalty, you cause people to say, well, if she left that relationship and she did better, then maybe I need to get out of my toxic, abusive relationship. Well, if she had a baby, 
and she had to do it all by herself, but she did it. Well, if she did this and that, and that like, it's like you're being discussed. Okay. Even if you don't have kids, if you, whatever it is, this could be a job situation. Well, if she left the job, did you hear about she left the job and then she got promoted over there or she started home company there? It's like, whatever it is that you have done, like I was telling a different sign, it needs to be studied because you doing things that are scarce, you being a scarce person, it makes people want to be like you. So whatever it is that you're doing, you're causing a discussion, right? Sometimes things ain't about hating or, Ooh, they gossiping about you. They talk about you behind your back. No, sometimes you cause a discussion. Some things need to be discussed. Some things need to be talked about. Some things deserve a conversation, even if you're not there to have it. It's like, whatever it is that you're doing, you're causing a conversation that needs to be had. And this is what makes you so rare and so special because you're waking people up just by being you. But it all starts with seeing yourself the way you are in God's royal court. Bottom of the deck. Mm, the nine of cups. Your dreams are about to come true. Your dreams are coming 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 true. It's true. It's true. It's like you go to sleep and you wake up in the spirit realm and you see yourself as this queen. You see your throne, you see your crown and you be like, oh my God, it's true. I knew I wasn't that human. I knew it. And you step into your divinity because you're like, oh my God, I knew it's true. And you walk the rest of your life like this queen because it was true the whole time. You ever seen It Takes Two? Back in the day, Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen, and uh, they got switched up. One of them was an orphan, and one of them was rich, living in a castle almost. And the girl ended up ended up working at a junkyard with her adopted family, and she kept saying, "I'm pretty much a princess. Like I come from royalty." He like, "No, you're not. Go clean up the scraps." The next thing you know, the helicopter came in and got her, and she took off her little uniform. And was like, "Yeah, I told you." I'm royalty. Look at my daddy. Send me a helicopter. And they got her up out of there. Right. And this is how it is for you. You, you up out of there and you in the dream realm, you in the spirit realm, living that life here on earth. And it's all about to play out and unfold for you. Nine of cups, baby. I'm so excited. So get in tune with who you really are. Wake up, wake up and remember who you really are and step into this energy and this vibe because you can, because it's available to you because it's yours and ain't no man or no devil going to be able to come in and take this from you. They cannot strip you of your title. They cannot strip you of your crown and they cannot take you off your throne. Remember that for the rest of your life here on this planet. You dig? So that's what I give you, Taurus. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, share, get in the comment section. Let me know how this resonated with you. Follow my other social medias and I'll see y'all in the next video.